Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the 144. Happy Spring Equinox. We have a special prayer, blessing, ceremony, puja for you today for this beautiful Equinox energy from our friends at ArchangelicCalendar.com. We use nature as a rhythmic reminder, a friend, an ally, and an inspiration. Everything said and done can be done in a divine light if we keep this underlying tone. The following words hail from many different traditions. Specific points of interest from the Macro Goddess Collective. Spring Equinox Key Energy Codes for the Year of the Master Builder 22. Observe the geometric pattern formed by the aspects in the chart and see that what presents is a celestial structure, a heavenly haven, with a firm and benevolent foundation which supports a year of transformation, fueled by a collaboration of aspects in the divine cosmic dance of the feminine and masculine pillars. There is vital coded information held within the numerology of the degrees of these aspects and the degree of distance between the celestial bodies. The energy of this collaborative effort is to bring transmutation. Excellent change is necessary on earth. It is evident in many ways. These powerful energies will endure for the year and the effects evermore. This solid foundation is formed by a trine and the feminine pillar between Queen Luna at 29 degrees Libra. 2 plus 9 equal 11, number of master psychic, sign of divine law and order. The queen herself represents earthling's heart and emotional body, and then black moon Lilith at 27 degrees. 27 is the number of unconditional love and reduces to 9, the number of ending of cycles. Gemini, the sign of the twins, represents a unification of opposites. Black moon Lilith, in this aspect, is the goddess as the mystery, keeper of what is unknown, unknowable, and the goddess as fierce boundary setter and protectress. Conjunct Queen Luna, also at 29 degrees Libra, is Haumea, a Lumerian earth mother goddess, infusing her potent magic to mix this already powerful aspect. Here the shining moon goddess and dark moon goddess work together with the earth goddess to heal and sustain Earth's beings while reinventing all broken systems, transforming the way Earthlings relate to each other, Mama Gaia, and their vessels by the power of the Triple Goddess. The North Node representing the Collective's future destiny is at 23 degrees, 44 minutes of Taurus, 2 plus 3 equal 5, the number of change, 44 master number of the Archangels, Taurus pertains to all things related to earth and the pleasures found within her, including all provision and sustenance. Here we see the elder Uranus is giving his blessing through his energies of quick bursts of powerful change in this realm through loose conjunction with An at 12 degrees, the number of the eternal student. There is an additional celestial blessing from the masculine pillar in the highly potent and powerful conjunction in Pisces of Neptune at 23 degrees 8 minutes. 2 plus 3 equal 5 the number of change, 8 the number of eternity, and Jupiter 18 degrees 36 minutes. 1 plus 8 equals 9 the number of endings of cycles. This energy is of pure Heavenly Father's love in the form of water and spirit, gifts of joy and peace, for those in the proper frequency to receive these treasures. Add to this Mercury, Divine Messenger, Sun aspect at 17 degrees, 40 minutes. 1 plus 7 equal 8, number of infinity. 4 plus 0 equal 4, number of solid foundation. And we find ourselves gifted with the powerful force of a triune within the masculine pillar as well. The Goddess of Love in Aquarius at 13 degrees, 27 minutes. 13, number of the goddesses, 1 plus 3 equal 4, number of firm foundation, 27, number of unconditional love, and reduces to 9, the number of ending of cycles. 
Aquarius, the airy futuristic sign of the benevolent humanitarian, is square her elder Uranus in Taurus at twelve degrees, the number of the eternal student, in the earthly practical sign of daily provisions and pleasures. Uranus, on, is an ancient form of the masculine principle as the original consort to the goddess. Squares indicate a need for a release of energy or resolution to tension, and this particular square holds a power that has been building in the quantum field for millennia. The resulting frequencies will permeate the quantum field as the goddess receives her celestial blessings, an elixir of renewal bringing a refreshed sense of agape love to the earth and all its inhabitants bolstering the works of the triple goddess feminine pillar and the triune of the masculine pillar the two crowning jewels of this cosmic configuration which are support beams for this heavenly haven built to house earthlings during this year of intense reconstruction one from him and one from her come by way of two air fire sextiles from the masculine pillar, Chiron, the wounded healer at 11 degrees Aries, 11 equal master psychic, is sextile warrior Mars at 10 degrees Aquarius, 1 plus 0 equal 1 number of power, the sun, bringing a surge of healing and inspiration to our indigo blue ray warriors and healers of the green ray. Symphony of air and fire will ignite the refinery serving to resurrect the divine masculine in a way earthlings have never experienced him prior. To fully utilize the healing medicine of this aspect, call in any animal spirit guides or hybrid animal guides in addition to the usual light team you work with daily. From the feminine pillar, goddess of love Venus in Aquarius at 13 degrees 27 minutes, 13 number of the goddesses 1 plus 3 equal 4, the number of firm foundation, 27 the number of unconditional love, and reduces to 9 the number of the ending of cycles, is sextile palace Athena, and Aries at 12 degrees 58 minutes, 12 the number of the eternal student, 5 plus 8 equal 13, number of the goddesses, 1 plus 3 equal 4, the number of firm foundation, this configuration transmits the goddess herself, and the divine feminine collective and therefore a rebirth of all creation. It is wise to utilize this energy for past and current life healing and general Akasha cleanup. Daily spiritual practice is crucial this year, abiding faith in the emerging new creation and consciously choosing to maintain an elevated frequency are critical to this, the year of the master builder. The world nourishes bodies. The spirit nourishes souls. Hermes Trismegistus. The start of the sacred intentions. Prepare your sacred space in the center of physical reality. Implement an atomic shake by purposefully rattling physical reality down to the atomic level. Imagine and feel the atoms of your physical reality in a state of hypermovement. Envision everyone joining us today holding hands around a sacred fire face east. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the east to evoke the element of air as the earth is in perfect alignment for creating a new. Engulf physical reality in its dimensions in the following breezes. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face southeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southeast to bring forth the winds of change and all the majesty and wonder of the equinox in a straightforward way. Engulf physical reality in its dimensions in the following flames, breezes, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, Rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Use both modalities at the same time and make them one. Face south. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the south. To bring manifestations of the highest degree through the equinox alignment. 
We will achieve this by evoking the element of fire. Engulf physical reality and all its dimensions in the following flames. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face southwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the southwest to enable the power of the mind to mold the incoming energies into tangible manifestations of beauty. Envision your world radiating peace, love, kindness, and abundance for all life. Envision harmony, then envision the wonder the world sees when this vision comes to fruition. Face West I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the West to bring the power of water to my efforts. I know that with the persistence of water, my intentions will soon become part of my physical reality. Envision the things you have just envisioned, riding into physical reality on the following waters. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face Northwest. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the Northwest to create beauty in my personal life. I know that I can be of excellent service to the world when I am at ease. I am blessed to be able to live as I choose. Envision your life in perfection and splendor, then evoke the feeling of relief and gratitude. Face North. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the North to summon the element of Earth to add Gaia's intentions to this sacred moment. I know I can heal, grow, and live happily in peace with Mother Earth's blessing. Engulf all you envision in the following plasmas. White, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. Face northeast. I face my mind, body, and divine essence to the northeast to evoke the power of the multiverse to the sacred intention. All scenarios exist through the infinite universes of the multiverse. I travel to the timeline where what I have just created already exists. Envision yourself walking in your current timeline, then take a stairway of light to the higher timeline you have created through this intention. Connect with all directions. I face my mind, body, and divine essence in all the unnamed directions and connect with the will of the sum of the whole, infinitely expanding creator source by bringing my attention to the many layers of myself via cosmic wonder. Envision all the stars in all directions sending blinding light, light so bright that color is not discernible. Then allow it to die down knowing you are firmly on the new timeline you have just created and then ground yourself to it in any way you wish. Bring your mental gaze deep within. I face my mind, body, and divine essence within to bring forth the power of the observer within the sacred walls of my profound temple. And now meditate. Upon coming out of meditation, please speak the following aloud. Metakwiosin, 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 aho. Thank you for joining us today on this beautiful and blessed equinox ceremony from ArchangelicCalendar.com. Have a most beautiful, auspicious, and sacred equinox gateway portal. 144 coming in. We'd like to give our thanks to all of you that support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world. If these teachings and transmissions resonate with you, you'd like to help support this channel and help us continue this work and mission. You can make a monthly pledge or donation to our links at eaglelovecondor.com. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.